All right, what's up, everybody? This is uh, the envelope system. This is my envelope system. This is how I budget my money. This is how I save my money. This is how I uh, pay for everything that needs to get paid throughout the month. And uh, the goals that I have that I basically save my money for. So um, I'll let you see all the envelopes that I have here. So basically, my um, weekly checks get broken up. I break everything up quarterly since I get paid per week. And... Uh, I'll kind of run through them in uh, order of priority. I think I set it up in the proper order. So basically, I work for myself, so I've got to pay taxes. Put my as soon as I cash my check, and I always get cash. I don't ever put anything in the bank. Um, if I do, it's rare, and that's only because like if it's for like credit card or something, I have to pay you know X amount of dollars for my credit card that comes out of my bank account. So uh, anyways, I separate into my tax envelope. I've got a child support envelope. I've got my rent envelope. I've got tires, and I've got $600 um, for tires, and I kind of save that throughout the year. Um, once that gets filled up to $600, um, that's it. I don't put any more money in it until I need tires, you know, use the money or whatever, and then fill it back up. Um, I've got a phone bill envelope. we got our household needs envelope, and I, I've got that at $150 limit. So uh, anytime we need anything, we just pull it from there. Uh, if it's a a towels or a shower curtain or a, a rice cooker or a blender or one of them fruit ninjas or whatever, whatever it is, um, that's, what, uh, that's what that money comes from. Um, so then I've got my gas that I use, and I probably use about 50 or 60 bucks a week, but I, I just put 50 in there. And uh, if I need more, I'll tap into more from somewhere else, but yeah, it's rare that that happens. Um, and then my lady, she's got uh, her gas envelope as well, and she uses about $25 a week. Um, we've got the hygiene envelope, and the hygiene envelope kind of consists of, because we broke the hygiene different from the groceries. The groceries we kind of kept for like food and stuff, but the hygiene envelope, we use probably about $128 a month. That sounds like we're funky ass people, but uh, we got seven kids, and um, if you've got kids, you know you're burning through all kind of stuff: soap, shampoo, conditioner, all that stuff, laundry detergent. So, anyways, and and uh, I broke it down right here so we know what we need throughout the month. Um, we got diapers for both the babies because they're wearing two different sizes diapers. Baby's butt paste, razors, shaving cream, shampoo, and conditioner. She uses a special kind. Um, it's more expensive than what I use. I use the $2 stuff. Um, the kids shampoo and conditioner, Dad. toothpaste. Yeah, baby. I'm okay, go get something. Why? You want water? Here. I'll take, here. Lola, here. There you go, baby. Okay, so we got toothpaste, deodorant, um, my body soap, um, George body soap and she uses bar soap also so um, and I put like $32 a week in here if it gets used it gets used if it doesn't then it just goes to the next it gets applied to the next week and we typically like I said just stay at like about $130 a month um, we have the girls our daughters in gymnastics so we break that up quarterly I got the boys in jujitsu so we break that up quarterly um, groceries we spend up I've got us budgeted $150 a week. That doesn't sound like very much for you know seven kids, but um, we're able to manage and make it work. We eat pretty healthy, so we stretch our food pretty far. Um, Gold's Gym, break that up quarterly. Her and I both pay ourselves, and it's not much, but it's better than not like getting paid anything. And we both pay ourselves $25 a week. Um, and that lets us get whatever junk that we want, like if we go into the grocery, uh, to the gas station, sodas, candy bars, whatever. It doesn't matter. You know, ice cream or whatever. Um, that's what that money's for. So uh, the school, uh, I got school supplies and office equipment. Um, if it's ink for the printer, if it's papers, pens, notepads, or anything like that, I've got that topped out at $100. So I use the money as I need it, and if I pull it, I replace it with the next check. That kind of stays at 100 bucks and stays, you know, where it's at. Uh, my credit card, I pay about like $50 a week. 
um, on that, and I keep it at a at a thirty percent balance for the month and uh, to build my credit. But um, and then let's see, we got vehicle registration. E we each pay about a hundred dollars per vehicle. So throughout the entire year, we just save our money. You know, put like ten or twenty bucks in there or whatever until we reach a hundred dollars, and then that envelope goes to the side and it doesn't get touched or filled anymore. And then we have an emergency fund. Um, we do a thousand dollars in our emergency fund, and um, you know, you save basically save your money in that emergency fund. Once it reaches a thousand dollars, you don't mess with it anymore. You don't touch it, and all the extra money that would normally go into that emergency fund goes now into these goal envelopes is what I call them goal envelopes so for each one of our kids um, we have a hundred dollars um, to 150 bucks but I just put a hundred dollars in each kids envelope and if they need stuff whether it's a pair of pants or shoes or shirt or whatever I pull the money out of their envelope and again it gets replaced as needed uh, we got a vacation envelope which uh, is for three thousand um, uh, dollars let's see the house we're trying to buy a house so we're putting money into the to this envelope here periodically and we're trying to get to the point where we can get a house uh, Christmas we save about we use about two thousand dollars in Christmas sometimes more but uh, two thousand dollars so we save our money till we hit the two thousand dollar mark on the envelope once that's filled up then um, we don't touch it anymore and again the extra money gets applied to something you know another envelope whatever one of our other goals are or whether it's paying bills or cleaning up you know credit or whatever um, and then her van I've got it at 1500 and basically that's for if anything goes wrong from tires to uh, oil change or whatever but that's not filled up at all I need to be putting money in there and then uh, again this is her envelope for her $25 per week which she never spends so she's probably at like a thousand dollars no I'm just kidding she's probably at like I don't know whatever but anyway, that's the envelope system. That's how we uh, budget our money and balance everything, reach our goals. Uh, it's hard to save money, but it's hard, super hard being broke. And uh, that's just you know how we do it. Um, tell people that you're broke. Tell people you don't have any money. Otherwise, you're gonna be going out and spending money all the time. Um, and you know that's basically it. It's okay to enjoy yourself or en enjoy spending money, but we just try to keep it to a minimum. Like we do things like we'll go to the swimming pool instead of you know I don't know going out with all the kids like to the movie theater. I mean we we took what two kids out to the movie theater, three kids, and it came up to like a hundred dollars. It was crazy. Or we'll cook out outside. Um, what else? And we go to the park. We go to the track. There's a track that we take the kids to and take the soccer ball, or football, and and let them just run. And I mean, just try to stay. Yeah, just try to stay busy doing outdoor activities. No, um, I hate being indoors and uh, having the kids on the video games all the time. I like to keep them out all the time. Uh, even if you go to like rent a kayak or go do something like that, it's like ten or twenty bucks. Not like what, twenty bucks, twenty five bucks per hour. Or for like a half day or I forgot what it was but uh, we go do that and it just keeps everybody busy and active and when they come back they're tired and ready to pass out so um, just try to save money as best as you can all right bye